There is another method of selecting cells for placement called the cell selector. This method graphically displays all the cells in the attached library at the same time. Let's have a look at the cell selector. Go to Utilities and Cell Selector. If you have a cell library already attached to this drawing, then the cell selector will display immediately. If you don't have a cell library attached, as we don't, since in the last video we detached the cell library, you're now asked to select a cell library for the cell selector. I'm going to go back to the sample 2, select that, and the cell selector pops into place on the screen, and it may not be in the right place. With this particular cell library attached, there are only four cells in the library, so the cell selector box is quite small, and I want to move it over to the right, but it's actually quite hard to grab the box. So there's a way around this. Expand the box a little bit, and that will give you plenty of room to grab the box itself. Now here we see the graphical display of the four cells in that cell library. There are a couple of extra places at the moment because I resized the box. You can now simply data point on one of the cell displays to activate it for placement. Let's use this one. So if I data point on this particular cell, notice that the cell immediately pops into place in the tool settings window and it's ready for placement because the place active cell tool has activated at the same time. So it's quite quick to do it this way. Let me right click on that to stop it. Now, one of the advantages to the cell selector is that you can display more than one cell library at a time. So right now I'm displaying the sample 2 cell library, but if I click on File and Load Cell Library, I can choose another one. So I'm going to go to my area pat.cell, click on that, and it asks me if I want to clear the current configuration, which will be the sample 2 cell library, before loading the new cell library. Well, I want both, so I say no, I don't want to clear the current configuration. Now I'm going to have to expand the cell selector box quite a bit to see all of the cells that we have available. Now I see two cell libraries displayed together. If you look carefully, you'll see that this one, this one, that one, and that one belong to the four-celled sample two cell library. All the rest belong to the area pat cell library. So again, just a matter of clicking on whichever cell you want to activate it. Now there are some additional advantages to using the cell selector. You can customize the button palette, which is what we're looking at right now, to display cells from several cell libraries at the same time, which means that you can build custom cell selectors that contain only the cells you need for specific applications. This is a little different from simply attaching more than one palette. And you do that through the Edit option, using the Copy and Paste buttons. You can save to disk any number of custom cell selectors that can be applied to various tasks. And along with a button selector for a specific cell, the button can also be programmed with keyins to load specific tools or perform specific actions. Cells can be placed as shared cells if they're designated as shared cells in their cell library and the Use Shared Cells option is on in the cell placement box. Now, I don't want to go any deeper into the cell selector, but you'll find quite a wealth of information in the help files under Cell and Cell Selector. Please take a look at that to see the available options. And of course, experiment with placing cells using this method.